Hi, today I'm going to be reviewing the Becca, Becky, and Christy Teigen Glow Face Palette, which I have here. And really quick, I just want to say I purchase all these products with my own money so you know you can trust my opinion is what I honestly believe. And this palette sells for $46.00. And actually, I've gotten to use this uh, quite a few times, and it's got a lot of great reviews online. Um, I'm going to give you five reasons not to purchase it and maybe help you save some $46. Um, so first of all, I'm just going to start with the price. It's $46, which is expensive. You do get four colors, so you're paying about $12 a shade. Um, but that goes into my reason number two, which is the ingredients that this palette contains are mostly comprised of mineral and talc. Talc of also being um, an ingredient that in high amounts, if inhaled, has been known to cause cancer. So when you're spending $46 to get something that's made from cheap ingredients, you could definitely spend less and get similar results with a product that is uh, much, much more affordable. So which also goes into my reason number three. This palette is uh, comprised of colors that were picked up by Chris C. Teigen, and the colors aren't new or extraordinary, and there's nothing very unique about them. In fact, there are so many dupes that I would say I already have each color times five in my arsenal. So I'll just start from the top that uh, this color is a dupe. And this is a blush made by, I believe the name is Manicadar Beauty. That is almost identical to the very top large color. And I also have another blush by that same brand, which I got in a beauty box, which is almost identical to the smaller blush. That one made by... Manicadar also. Oh, so you said that. Okay. I'll edit this out. Yeah. This is the NARS. Um, orgasm and this one is very similar to the blush as well so if you have any of these products you already have one of these two colors um, this is the Tarte uh, blissful blush and that again is very similar to the uh, smaller blush this is uh, the balm and this is their cabana boy blush and that is also very similar some of these are almost just completely identical. Um, this is one of the NYX Duochromatic, and this is also very similar. This is one of the Tarte highlighters in the color Stunner, also extremely similar, if not almost identical, to the large blush. This is one of the newer Wet n Wild uh, Mega Glow illuminating powders or highlighting powders and that is also almost identical to the large larger blush up top and this is one of the Bobbi Brown highlighters she came out with which is almost identical to the bottom larger highlighting blush this is the NARS Laguna bronzer and that is dare I say almost identical to the bottom smaller bronzer there This is one of the Tarte uh, bronzers as well. If you look at that, it's nearly identical to the uh, bottom small bronzer. This is the Lancome Subtle Bronzer, and that is almost identical to the bronzer there, and actually quite similar to the top one as well because it's got that little bit of shimmer in it. This is Glow Minerals, their Sunkiss Bronze, and if you look at that, it's identical the bottom is almost identical to the bronzer, and the top with the shimmer is almost identical to the top. This is one of the new Ulta Beauty bronzers. It's called Radiance, and it's very similar as well. This is the NARS uh, Bonk de Sable bronzer, and there's three colors in there, and two of them are very similar to the colors in the Becca Chrissy Teigen palette. This is the It Cosmetics Radiance Ombre and almost identical to the bronzer at the very bottom as well. 
And now I'll, I'll go into uh, my reason number four not to purchase it. If you already have any Becca colors, highlighters of hers, you probably have this. This is almost identical to the Jaclyn Hill palette she came out with last year. But I'll also show you a couple of her colors. Um, and maybe Chrissy picked these out, I'm not sure. But I'm just trying to remember what this color was. Rose gold pressed, I think maybe that's the exact same color. And not just very similar. This is her Rose Quartz highlighter. Very similar, if not identical, to the bottom highlighter in the palette. And then reason number five I'll get into a little bit. Becca was recently sold to Estee Lauder. And Estee Lauder has to test on animals because they sell their products in China. Um, although Estee Lauder on their website says they don't endorse animal testing, but if regulatory boards force them to test, they will test. But they don't have to choose to sell in China because China does make anyone selling cosmetics there test on animals before they sell to the public. So they don't have to sell there. They're just choosing to to make money. So Becca thus being bought by Estee Lauder, I'm going to go off a, a limb and say they're also selling these in China. Therefore, these are being tested on animals. So it's a little bit uh, depressing to me because I always love Becca products. But now knowing that she's going to be testing on animals, it kind of makes me not want to purchase anything from her in the future. So um, this palette was probably tested on animals. And, you know, I'm disappointed that she sold to Estee Lauder to pick to sell to them. There's also larger brands that have been purchased by Estee Lauder as well. So I think we should uh, ask Estee Lauder why they want to test on animals and why they want to sell in China. If China is going to force them to test on animals, simply don't sell to them. But it's all about the bottom line and making money. So that's unfortunate. But um, anyway, if you're still interested in this palette after all those reasons, I'm just going to give you a couple of finger swatches here just so you can get an idea. I mean, they're very beautiful, but nothing uh, nothing outstanding, nothing different, nothing unique than any other palette that you've purchased from hers in the past, especially the Jaclyn Hill collection. Um, these, sim you know, these colors are very similar to that. So, And if you own any of these highlighters that I've shown you, you probably can get the same effect with something you already have instead of purchasing something for $46 more. So those are my reasons. Have you put pick this up yet and also what do you think about the testing on animals do you pay attention to that before you purchase cosmetics or you just kind of buy something because you fall in love with it leave me a comment and let me know and also feel free to subscribe i come out with at least one new review every day thank you guys